In this video, I am going to talk about addition polymerization, which is also known as free radical polymerization and chain growth polymerization. Polymers are made by joining monomers in a linear chain. The process of making polymers from monomers is known as polymerization. Based on reaction kinetics, polymerization reactions can be classified into addition and condensation polymerization. Addition polymers form by successive addition of monomer molecules onto the reactive ends of a growing polymer. This process is similar to adding links onto a chain and therefore is called chain growth polymerization. Addition polymerization involves mainly three steps. First step is initiation step. In this step, a small number of monomers react with initiator molecules to form active monomer or free radical. In propagation step, the active monomer react with a large number of monomers and form a long chain free radical. And finally, in termination step, two active chains react with each other to form a neutral polymer chain. There are four types of addition polymerization. First is bulk polymerization. Second, solution polymerization. Third, emulsion polymerization. And fourth is suspension polymerization. Bulk and solution polymerization falls under the category of homogeneous polymerization. And emulsion and suspension polymerization are known as heterogeneous polymerization. The term homogeneous or heterogeneous refers only to initial condition of the system. For example, emulsion and suspension polymerization involve hydrophilic and hydrophobic reactants in reaction mixture, which makes reaction mixture heterogeneous, whereas bulk and solution polymerization takes place in one phase, therefore are called homogeneous polymerization. Let's start with bulk polymerization. In this type of polymerization, monomer is taken in liquid form. The sphere represents individual monomer. Then the initiator is added, which is monomer soluble. The mixture is then heated to a temperature at which initiator molecules break into free radicals. These free radicals then react with monomer and start polymerization. During propagation, monomers combine together and grow into a polymer chain radical. Polymerization is carried out under continuous agitation to transfer heat and mass properly. To terminate the reaction, chain transfer agent is added. Finally, two polymer chain radicals combine together and form a long neutral polymer chain. This reaction is purely exothermic and a wide range of molecular masses are produced. Advantage of this reaction is the system is very simple. The polymer obtained is pure and large castings may be prepared directly. The disadvantage is heat transfer and mixing become difficult as the viscosity of reaction increases which leads to broad molecular weight distribution. Due to highly exothermic nature of the reaction, heat transfer is very difficult and this method gives low molecular weight polymers. This method is used to synthesize polystyrene, polyvinyl chloride, polymethyl methacrylate and low density polyethylene. Solution polymerization is very similar to bulk polymerization except the fact that monomer, initiator and chain transfer agents are dissolved in a non-reactive solvent. So the polymerization step remain the same. First, monomer is taken, then the initiator is added and the reaction mixture is heated to initiate the polymerization. The reaction results in a polymer which is soluble in chosen solvent and heat released by the reaction is absorbed by the solvent which helps to dissipate the heat. Finally, long chain polymers are formed by reacting two polymer chain radicals. To obtain pure polymer, excess solvent has to be removed. Hence, 
Solution polymerization is mainly used for application where the presence of a solvent is desired. For example, varnish and adhesive. It is not useful for production of dry polymers because of difficulty of complete solvent removal. So, the advantage of this method is heat transfer is easy due to presence of solvent. Solvent also help in reducing viscosity which makes process very simple. The disadvantage is the process, the process of removal of excess solvent. Polymers such as polyacrylic acid, polyacrylonitrile are synthesized using solution polymerization. Although bulk and solution polymerization are very simple methods to make polymer, but these methods have certain limitations like we cannot get high molecular weight polymer and also polydispersity is very high. Bulk polymerization is exothermic and solution polymerization is not environmentally friendly. Emulsion polymerization is one of the way to overcome the limitations of bulk and solution polymerization. In emulsion polymerization, water is taken as continuous phase which contains water insoluble or hydrophobic monomers like oil. The emulsifier or surfactant is added to form monomer in water emulsion. If we look in the emulsion, we can see that surfactant surrounds the monomer droplet and form a micelle structure. This is a schematic of micelle where monomer droplet is surrounded by surfactants. Surfactants have hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tail part. Their hydrophobic tail is facing monomer and hydrophilic head is in water. Each monomer droplet contains many monomer molecules. As the initiator enters in droplet through aqueous phase, it initiates the polymerization in each micelle. In propagation step, the monomer start combining and grow into a chain radical. Once all the monomer convert into polymer chain radical, de-emulsifying agent is added which disperses surfactant in water. Finally, the polymer chain radicals combine together and form a neutral polymer chain. The advantage of this method is rate of polymerization is very high which leads to high molecular weight polymer. The continuous phase water is an excellent conductor of heat so heat is easily controlled. Polymerization proceeds in micelles so viscosity of the system remain almost the same. The disadvantage is polymer needs purification, removal of emulsifier and de-emulsifier and monomers such as vinyl chloride, butadiene, chloropene, vinyl acetate, acrylates are polymerized by this technique which gives water based paints, adhesive and coating materials. Suspension polymerization is similar to bulk polymerization and it could be considered bulk polymerization within a droplet. This is one of the most widely used polymerization technique. It is also called as bead or fern polymerization. In this method, initiator is dissolved in hydrophobic monomer. Then the hydrophobic monomers containing initiators are mechanically suspended in water in presence of suspending agent. The polymerization is carried out inside the small droplet of liquid monomer. Finally, the polymer chain radicals undergo termination step and form a bead-like polymer. The advantage of this method is no heat mass chain transfer problem. The product obtained is in granular form which is convenient to handle and isolation is easy. The disadvantage is only water insoluble monomers are used. Emulsifier is needed to wash the suspending agent. Also, it requires long time for high conversion. Expandable polystyrene beads, PMMA, PVC and PVA beads can be synthesized using suspension polymerization. 
So in this video we will learn about addition polymers. All the monomers that form addition polymers or undergo free radical polymerization are alkenes or functionally substituted alkenes. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel Polymer World. Thank you.